Hey guys, part two. Okay, so I'm still fighting with this guy. The last I seen of him, he was with his family and they were mending him up. Now, I don't know if he's getting his body back or not. I hope not. Because I really don't want to fight him again and do it again. But I know I'm gonna. I don't even pursue it now. I just go to bed like normal. And if he shows up, I kick his ass. Or I try to do the best I can, whatever. But, now you remember his shirt? His shirt changed color? I didn't reel this till later. When I was having a shower, this is what happened. I took off my underwear to have a shower. I looked at it, and I got red and white plaid underwear. Boxer shorts, right? Bottom of fucking Walmart, 15 bucks, whatever. A pack of four. Now, that's what my underwear was the exact same as his shirt. Then it changed to blue. Well, the second pair of underwear in the package that I wore is blue. I fucking freaked out. I go, I told Chris about it, and he's like, he even stumped him for a few minutes. And he said he's taking on the persona of your sex, your your uh, sexual energy. He's, that's all he, basically that's what he wants. He's in love with you somehow. He's obsessed. He's taking on a persona. He saw your underwear. He likes the color of it. So he made a fucking shirt. Can you believe that? Can you fucking believe that? This is what I'm dealing with, guys. This is a guy's mentality, a spirit's mentality. He's not allowed to say the same illusion. I can't go into the illusion. I always go into the illusion when I sleep. When I'm sleeping in the same illusion, and I fall asleep, I'm in the illusion. Same illusion, illusion. You can't do anything. It's the same illusion, illusion. But if I go down, I'm in zero space. Zero. The illusion. The illusion. And anything goes down there. You can get killed. Christ can't arrest the guy. You can only arrest the guy if he's in the kingdom of all Christ's cities, more or less. Jeez, Christ is driving me nuts. Anyway, this is a lesson. I, I just had to tell you that from my last video. So this video is a lesson Christ gave me about when everything was peaceful for the two weeks. Christ gave me a lesson dream. And he was he giving me dreams about violence. And I was having dreams about actual war and violence and stuff like that. And fighting people. All the fights I've been in. And he gave me a lesson. And this is the dream I had. The lesson is in the dream. And this is the dream Christ gave me. So I'm fighting. Uh, hockey games, school, high school. All guys I beat up in high school. And I think most of them were all self-defense. Like, they push you against the lockers. And as soon as I had my red marker, we'd go, ooh. As soon as it went, ding. That was it. As they're pushing you. Right? And that's when I started fighting. But one time I started a fight, which was bad. <coughs> and I never did it again. Um. Because I didn't want to go that way. And I lost that fight. But... The fights I, I won were all self-defense. The fight I lost was the fight I started. So it wasn't balanced or whatever. Self-defense. It wasn't self-defense. I was the aggressor. Right? So, okay. In this dream, I'm fighting. And my arm here, like this. Then this coats my arm. And the cut, my skin got cut all the way around like that, to the bone. And this was loose. All this skin was loose and coming off. So I kept it up here like that. And all of a sudden, days go by in this dream where I'm, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. And uh, my arm's cut, and it's starting to rot. It's rotting around where it got cut and it's starting to stink and it's rotten 
and uh, I'm walking around and I'm showing people I'm going to look at my arm, it's rotting off. It's rotting. And um, I'm, I'm showing people my rotten arm from where it got cut. Like, oh, this was good. But this down was rotting. This is my punching hand. And I kept, I kept moving the skin, like, in a dream. And then one day it got so rotten. This part, all the way down, got so rotten, it just slid, like half liquid, but, uh, and it slid down, and I was with some people watching, and it slid down, and I noticed I had new skin growing underneath, and a new skin underneath, and the new skin was going to grow with the old skin and make a new arm for me. So I, I go, oh, fuck, this is bad. This is stinking, right? So I grabbed it and I peeled off all the skin into a great big clump. Over here, my hands are. I had a big clump of skin and blood and guts and goo and pus. And I took it off and I, and I threw it on the table. And it looked like a fucking roast, right? <laughs> More or less. And I'm looking at it and I can see the meat, I can see the muscle tissue, the chunks of muscle. I can see the, uh, there's no bone, I can see the skin, I can see the rot and the pus and the blood. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, holy fuck. And I can't fucking believe it. And it looks like a slab of meat sitting like a roast. You know, it's all mutated. There's no fingers or anything. And I can see the skin on it. And all of a sudden, I woke up. And Chris, he goes, that's two pounds of flesh. Two pounds of flesh. And I go, it is? And he goes, yep, that's two pounds of flesh. And he goes, that's how much you got, that's how much rotted off you from your violence. And I'm like, wait, I'm like, holy shit. So he goes, so all the violence in my life that I've done, I, it cost me two pounds of flesh. And he goes, yep, but with Christ, but since you're with Christ now and you're learning these things, your skin's starting to grow back. And I ain't been in a lot of fights in my life. Not really. Not since high school. Two pounds of flesh from birth till I'm 51 years old. All my fights, I had two big ones outside of high school. But mostly all my fights were in high school. And there was self-defense. And he goes, he goes, Christ, he goes in Christ, Christ consciousness, Violence is, you know, violence is violence. He goes, he goes, fighting back don't make it right. And I go, well, fuck, I don't care. I ain't fucking fighting. Don't care. I'm not going to let some guy fucking attack me. I'm just going to sit there and submit like Buddha and let him fucking skin me alive. There's no fucking way. I don't care. I don't, I don't understand it. I ain't there. It fucking hurts. Fuck it. I ain't getting pushed around. I'm fighting back. That's natural law. And I go, that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to be. To the death. Natural law. I don't give a fuck. And, um, and he goes, he goes, yeah, but there's a bigger point. He goes, you got to do everything you can to avoid fucking violence. And I'm like, well, you know what? This, that, and the other thing. You know, probable realities with one word. Like, come on. I ain't goddamn ninja boy down here. I'm sorry, uh, you know, trying to walk home from fucking school and I got these fucking morons bothering me, pushing me around, fuck it, I'm fighting. And he goes, you'll get it, he goes, you understand it eventually, I go, I think I get it. And he goes, and he goes, two wrongs don't make a right, or, and he goes, eh, you're getting it. And I go, well, you know what, self-defense, whatever. And so... That was the dream. And I can relate that dream because all my life I have two things going on. I have learned. Before I got to any spiritual Christianity shit, before all this stuff happened, spiritual Christianity, before I became a Christ myself, or quasi Christ, whatever, I don't know, about violence. And the reason I'm having this violence dream is because I'm dealing with that crazy guy all the time. 
Now, I don't know if that has to do with it. He goes, it was about me, flesh, in the flesh. But, he goes, what it is, is, uh, what the hell was it? I forgot what I was going to say. Um, what do you think? Oh, okay, got it. Another thing I can relate to, before I had the crazy experience, before I got any of this, nine years ago, started it, all my life when I was a kid, I would be at school or be wherever I was, and I would talk shit about people. You fucking, look at that goddamn fucking guy, right? You know, blah, 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 yelling, just talking shit. And that night, I have a dream. Where all my teeth are rotting out of my, and I'm pulling my teeth out, and they're all black, and, and blood's coming out, and I'm pulling my teeth out, and I'm like, ah, my teeth, my teeth, my teeth. I hate fucking dentists. And I'm pulling my teeth out, just falling out, and I'm spitting on my chiclets. And then I wake up, and I realize right there, I was bad mouthing somebody for so, for whatever, and I would try to stop it. I wouldn't. I, I'd note that, and I wouldn't do it again. I would, but I would always have the dream when I talk shit about other people. Then, another one I can relate to, that was the dream. Now, there's another one about my, my sight and my glasses. If I was living my life and I wasn't living through my heart every day, listening to my heart in response, listening to my path to follow, take this path. Your soul says take this path. Take, go to school today. Don't smoke pot. Go left instead of right. If I wasn't doing that, I wasn't listening to my heart, and even in my own decision making, internal stuff, in decision making, when I wasn't listening to the dream where my teeth were falling out because I'm talking shit about somebody, I would have a dream where I'd lose my glasses. I'd lose my glasses. And everything was blurry. And I'd run around all night in a fucking dream outside in the grass, tall grass, looking for my glasses. I'd get up, people, my mom would be calling me, people, I can't fucking see them, everything's blurry, it's that night, it's dark, and here I am looking for my glasses, where are my glasses? And I'd wake up from that dream, and I realized, got it, I wasn't seeing my path correctly. That's the dream. So I have the glasses dream showing me I'm not seeing my path correctly. I have um, verbal communication where I'm talking shit about people and I have a dream where my teeth are falling out, rotting out. And now I have this one about Christ and violence, even, just about violence, even if it's in self-defense, it's still violence. And your skin rots off. Christ said, over my lifetime, I've lost two pounds of flesh for violence. He goes, that's not, he goes, there's people, their whole bodies are rotting. And it's going into their insides, into their soul. He goes, that's extreme. He goes, you just got two pounds of flesh removed. And he goes, that's not a lot. And he goes, but since you've been with Christ and you're learning this, it's starting to grow back. So you're starting a whole new path or something like that. And I, I, I can relate to it because it's the same type of thing. It's showing you, it's showing you what you're doing wrong in your dreams. Awesome. I thought it was great, man. Because I always knew that with my teeth and my eyes. If I had a dream where I'm not, where I'm looking for my, I can't see, that means I'm not seeing from my soul, my spirit, the right path. I'm fucking up. Find out how you're fucking up and correct it. Which is basically just talking to your insides, talking to your soul for the guidance. Now I've had that where I lost my glasses when I went to war with crazy guy. Crazy guy wants to rape me and abuse me in all the different 
in violent ways. That's his, that's his shtick. I have to block them, separate myself from them, ignore them, and concentrate my heart, my mind on peaceful things. Oh yeah, he's still bitching at me, block it. But when he comes into me, when he does get the advantage, and I'm totally not expecting it, that's what pisses me off, because I'm relying on Christ. But Christ, he ain't helped me, because I'm learning. I can't learn if Christ is fucking taking care of my problems. He's not, he makes sure I'm okay in the end, and I get all the treatment and shit. But during the fight between me and this other guy, I get my ass kicked, I get nice, I get raped. I, he's inverting my fucking mind, telling me I'm a transsexual when I ain't. He's telling me this, and we end up fighting. And the time I did go at him, and I fucking throwing hand grenades at him, and shooting him, and ripping his fucking skin off, everything I was doing to this guy, I had a dream where I lost my glasses. Then I realized, okay, what's going on here? I had to really sit. It took me a fucking days to figure this out. Don't. Where your thoughts go, your energy flows. Don't think about revenge. Accept that you got fucking raped. Accept that you got fucked. Ask Christ to heal you. And let it go. And eventually, over time, this guy will just fucking fade away. And you'll be on doing your thing. You understand? Don't fucking go for revenge. Let God take care of that part. Ask God for help. Ask God for guidance. Ask Christ for guidance. Keep your mind out of the sewer, which is revenge. Keep your soul out of the sewer, which is revenge. Off him. Don't think about him. But then I'm doing the dishes and I'm thinking about that fucking dream that I had where I got raped and my whole being and all that fucking rage comes swelling back and I'm boom right on him, man. And I'm fucked again. That's the thing I'm trying to say. Every time you do that, it, you can't help it because it's a memory. I have to go through my memories to find out, did I do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? You know, I have to figure it out. I gotta fucking go through it, figure it out, sift it. But as I'm doing that, I'm spiritually hooking up. Christ goes, don't do it. I'm like, I fucking after. I won't fucking know what the fuck to learn if I don't think about this shit. And he goes, you gotta figure it out. You gotta. Do it. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Five, four or five fucking months of this shit, man. Now I'm just starting to figure figure this guy out. Every guy, every night I go to sleep. Shotgun. Well, I have, to, I have to. I go to bed at night and I go, wife, where the fuck am I sleeping at night? Fucking Queen City, same illusion or the illusion. One of the three or somewhere else. I gotta ask them where I'm sleeping, what's up for the night, do I gotta wash my back, do I need my shotgun, do I need my freeze gun, am I going to war, is he still a fucking bubble guy, is he, is he in human form, is my dog coming back? What the fuck's going on? And I get wrapped up in that drama to find out what I'm in for. Christ goes, nothing's going to happen. It's going to be fine. He's going to jail. He says that. I wait. I, I go to bed. I get fucking raped in a fucking dream. And I go, you said I was fine, you son of a bitch. And he goes, don't you get it? And he goes, rely on yourself. Don't rely on me. Just because I tell you something. Just because... He's in jail, doesn't mean he's coming to get you. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I can't even fucking rely on you. He goes, you can, but you're learning. He goes, how are you going to fucking learn if, you, if you're fucking relying on me? That's the fucking, God, that's the fucking thing I got to fucking deal with. And we, we all got to, but this is the fucking thing that drives me nuts. So I spend all day pissed off at Christ when I'm well, fucking learning this. Oh, it drives me nuts. So the other day, last night actually, when he attacked me early, by 12 o'clock, I would have been at 11, by 12, he was attacking me. 
and I ripped that fucking thing out of him. He was a bubble. All night he attacked me as a bubble. Then he fucking killed my dog. Well, we don't know who killed my dog. The snake killed my dog. Whatever. You know, I know what a fucking snake is. Fuck. He fucking killed my dog. Or one of his buddies. But in the dream, it was a snake. A colorful snake. So the guy, the guy looks like fucking John Travolta. All slick and shiny and cool, you know, all fucking Hollywood done up, pretty makeup and fucking eyes done and bullshit. He's all fucking beautiful, coral snake. But he's an anaconda and he's venomous. Three snakes all wrapped into one. And I know my snakes, I'm a nature guy, nature man. So when it's represented in the fucking snake, Kill my dog. Now the dog's supposed to come back. They're saying it's coming back. I ain't seen it yet. I ain't went to bed yet. I don't know. Make another video about it later. But these, this is my ongoing sequence. I'm learning. But what I think I gotta do is take my heart out of the, take my soul out of the revenge, out of the violence. Meditate, pray on me living a normal life again, back to what I love to do. And if he comes, if he comes, ask for help. Well, self defense, ask for help. That's been the right path, I believe. But he said the rules are different here. The rules are different here. About violence and self defense and stuff. But I don't know what the difference is. I'm still running on the rules of this earth plane, the meat. I'm trying, I'm slowly figuring it out. Damn, I'm figuring it out. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd tell you. This is all the shit you gotta think about for people who are. And I'm I'm with Christ and Saint Lucian, and he's teaching me this shit. So it's nitpicking semantics, you know. On different fucking dream space, get the lesson. Get the lesson of the laws of where Christ is. wake up and you gotta go deal with more bullshit in your daily life. Never fucking ends, man. So all I know is, fuck him. Fuck Bubba Boy. I ain't worried, I ain't worried about him until he comes back in my dream and faces me. I'll deal with it then. Until then, I'm gonna focus on my good stuff that I love doing. Get out of this bullshit that he's in. He can sit there and yell at me all fucking night. But if I don't talk, he yells at me and I don't respond. He yells and I don't respond. He goes farther away. That I know. I've done that many times. But trying not to spiritually hook up to him in a fantasy, trying to figure out what the fuck did I do wrong in the last war? Was it my fault? Was it good? Am I solid? Was it self-defense? I, as I think about that, I hook up to him again. And I engage him automatically. I don't want to engage him, but just just thinking about the fucking shit he put me through in my dream last night automatically takes me back to that spot and that time and that space. And I, I have a hard time recognizing it in the moment to take myself back out. Because I'd be walking down the street thinking about it, looking for fucking cars and buses and birds and whatever I'm doing. But I don't realize I gotta take myself out of that space. I don't know how long it takes me to learn this shit. Alright, guys, I'll talk to you later. This is what's going on, I'll let you know when more happens, which will be tomorrow.